I found an AI tool that is like Photoshop on steroids. It has been a while that I've been so shocked by a new AI tool, so I wanted to share this with you all. So the tool is called Playground AI, and they have some new functions that are just crazy to use. On the homepage of the website, we really see a showcase of all the images that they can make. They have a lot of different styles and uh, different art, a lot of portraits, but also very gritty art like this one. And of course, when you click on an image, you just have on the right actually the person who made it and you can just copy the prompt. And what is already crazy about this is, let me show you, that below you see more images like this. So you already have a bit of inspiration of what's possible. So let's just make something for ourselves. And you do that by going to create in the top right. When I go here, you see quite some basic things. So first you look on the left side. On the left, well, we have the prompt. We're gonna type polar bear in New York to see how that looks like. We can already here with filter, select a certain kind of style that we want so that we don't have to type it in the prompt itself. But if we would like wasteland, then it has as filter wasteland. So it will get a bit wasteland style. Then on the right here, they have different models that you can choose from. They have DALL-E 2, Stable Diffusion 1.5 and 2.1. I just use 1.5 and I suggest you using that for what you create. Then below you have the image dimensions. I'm just gonna go for the square now. You have the prompt guidance. The higher the value you give this, the closer it sticks to your prompt. So if you do a very high value, you really get the polar bear in New York. But if you did do a bit lower, around nine, it is a bit more creative. So then you get some crazy and nice results. And of course here you have quality and detail. You can do it very high, but then it's gonna take very long for it to get ready. I just suggest using the prompt guidance between eight and 15, and the quality is just at 50, that's good. Below you do the number of images, so we want to create four. And in the button, you just click on private session and then these images are only for you, so other people will not see them. Okay, so this is already on the right. I have my polar bear in New York and the wasteland. Just gonna press generate. And what you see here, okay, we got the four. These are the prompts that it's using and the time that it was taking was there. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We have four images, all quite different. If I press this button in the top right, it gets bigger. So here it's just literally a polar bear on the ice with the bridge in the back. And here we have the Empire State Building, I believe. And this should be something like a polar bear. I'm curious how different it is if I don't do wasteland in a filter. So I'm just gonna do none and create. And now you see the prompt is only polar bear in New York. And right now it really went for polar bear on ice. It has a, it's having some trouble to get it in New York. Uh, we can try to increase the prompt, the guidance. So if I do it to 22, it also gives a warning. It can cause images to conform to a prompt at the expense of it looking good sometimes. Maybe the images don't look good, but maybe you get more of New York in the image. Yeah, so now we actually got one image that is really mixed from New York and a polar bear. So now I'm gonna do Tesla car on highway. What you also can do while I wait for the images to be finished is remove from your image. So if you press this, here you can type some things that you don't want in your images. So if I would type person, then we will not get any person on our images. Yeah, it created a Tesla. And yeah, maybe it's a highway we cannot really see. So now is where the fun starts and where Playground AI really does some things that are crazy next level. So if you click here on the little edit button, you see that we have the, the normal picture and it gives an instruction. Think of a simple instruction to change the image, like make the dog a cat or make it look like a painting. So we have our image here. And now I'm just gonna say, put a rainbow behind the car. And I'm gonna press generate and see how it looks. Okay, the whole background became a rainbow now, but it is crazy to think that I just typed something and it generates it. And if I edit this image, the new one, then I can type make car bigger and red. And like this, you can just create images and go step by step. This is things that Midjourney cannot do. Midjourney can make crazier images probably, uh, nicer in artist way. This is just some level of customization that we're not used to with AI. It's really, really insane. We got our red car, the background is still there. What we can do to make it more clear is if I edit this image, then they have the option add mask. So when we press add mask, we have a couple of things. You have the eraser and you have this one, the selector. So if I use the selector, you can fill it in 
and you really need to take your time with this that it knows what you are highlighting so just make sure that you fill it all in now it knows okay the car is selected now i can type here turn into bike so let's press generate and if it works it should turn it into a bike okay and we see <laughs> it didn't work too well i mean we got the bikes and the car is gone but you see that there's some grass here and there's like two buggy bikes so this was not the best way to show it but we can try some other types so i can go to import image and here i have an image of steve jobs and i just want to add something simple like a head or you know what i'm gonna give him a big beard so i can say add a big beard just press generate and see what happens so he got a he got a nice beard here but you see also the people all in the background suddenly have moustaches and beards but this one looks really well. It did do what we asked for, but maybe we can specify with only selecting him. So if I would do add mask on the image and I just select, oh, that's a bit too big, so I can erase it, make it smaller. So I'm just gonna select his chin, so we know it's about him. And I'm gonna do add a pink beard. So we know now Playground AI will only look at this area that I masked. And now here you got the pink moustache. I mean, it, it, it worked. It is pink, it is a moustache, I'll accept it. We can uh, press on edit this image and go even further. So I'm gonna delete this mask that we just created and I want to add something to the background. What we do is we have to make sure that we mask all the background behind him. You need to take your time for this to make sure that you get all the areas. So I think I got all the areas. I got a bit of his head. So let me just erase. Okay, that's good. So now we have the masked area. And what do we want? We're gonna add something else in the background. I'm gonna do add the C. So he should be with his pink mustache on the C in the background. So let's see how it looks. And I mean, come on, this is this is so cool. I can download it. I can upscale it. I mean, this is just so cool that here you have the C and you see that here on the edge, I didn't mask it correct. So you have a little edges, but now we have Steve Jobs with a pink moustache and the C in the background. And I want to try it with one more. I'm gonna take a totally different image and see what we can do with that. This is an image of New York with a car, with some other things. So we can do some crazy stuff. And I have to think what I actually want to do. I'm gonna add everything next to the car. And if it takes too long, you can always make it bigger, of course. I'm gonna add the zombie outbreak. I'm very curious how that looks. I mean, this is something hard. This is, uh, I'm very curious. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this looks cool. Here we got the image and what it did, you see some zombies here, you see a lot of blood going on and it is still, yeah, it's a bit blurry and wonky. So you cannot make the best things with it yet, but you can see that there's a lot of promise, right? I want to show one last thing. We can make image to image. So you're able to make avatars from yourself. So I'm just gonna add my own picture here that I have here. And now we can do a couple of things. And we have a couple of options. For the prompt, you can either go to the homepage and find one that you like. If you like this style, for instance, you can copy it all and then type it in and see what comes. So I can try that actually. Paste and generate just to see how it looks. Okay, wow. And this is... Uh, Really not the same like what we got. What we can do is an image strength. So this means how strong your image comes through. So 30 is on the low side. If I would do 70, it should be much more visible that, it, that it's me and not some random thing. Yeah, so now at least you see that it's me, but it's totally not anymore the, the art. And I'm just gonna use a filter. Here they have the retro anime. I'm just gonna type man. So I'm just gonna do it on 50 and then I'm very curious what comes out. It still doesn't look like me, but it is more than the first one. So let's try a 76, you know, see how it looks then. Okay, yeah, I guess some of this could be me very, very slightly. And you can try it with a different filter. If I do Playtune here, generate, and we're gonna get something totally different. And because it's so high, the 76, you really have my old picture. And okay, maybe it's not exactly like me, but it is a start. And I think that's for the whole tool, all the things that it can do. It looks like we're at the beginning of something huge, you know? Once it's really start creating very pretty pictures, then we can do things that we didn't imagine was possible before. Of course, next to that, you can also still just use a normal prompt and create some images that you want. 
I'm just gonna make a cyberpunk soldier in future. I mean, these are not bad, they are okay. What you can do again is press edit and then you can go crazy with this one. If you select the whole head and you want to add the crown on top of his head, then you can do that. You know, it's, it's so crazy the flexibility that it gives you. And no, it is not perfect, but we see what is possible in the future. Look at this, I just typed crown and we get the crown here on top of his head. That's crazy. Mature and I cannot do this. I have a lot of fun playing with this. And let me know what you guys think of this. If you're gonna use this, what you're gonna use this for, I'm very curious. Don't forget to subscribe. I make videos every week.